Hi, right, what's up guys? I'm just uh, hanging out at the dentist. I'm getting my cleaning done today. And so while I'm here waiting for my checkup, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what happened to us this last few days. So apparently my son Leland tore his ACL over the weekend. And so now we're having to deal with that. So this is, this is what happened. Oh, shiitake mushrooms. Don't post that on YouTube. Hi, I'm in the yard with Leland. He twisted his knee and uh, he did it at school. I guess he was like playing kickball or something at school doing his gym class. And uh, so we got a you know call from the school. Hey, we need to go pick up Leland. So we went to the school and uh, he couldn't even walk. Like they had to wheel him out on the wheelchair, guys. Luckily the school had a wheelchair on site, you know, that we were able to use to wheel him out to the van where mom was waiting. And um, from there we went straight here to the ER to you know, get him checked out. All right, well, here we go again, Leland in the ER. You know, this has happened to us at least once before. So Leland, what happened this time? Um, I was at school and I was in gym class and we were playing kickball and I like tried to stop but I like stomped on my leg and put all my weight. So it's the knee this time. Yeah. And the knee bent this, like this way. Twisted the knee, it like, sounds like. So it wasn't the wrist. Yeah. Last time it was the wrist. This time it's the knee. So that's fun, fun for you. So what I'm seeing right here, this piece of bone is that tibial tuberosity, that's that center, so that's pulled off, and that's usually what your ACL is attached to. Right here, see this? This is kind of floating up in that space. This space is supposed to be nice and clear here. But this is that chunk of bone that's up there. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. Hurting? A little bit, but it's been hurting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, walk towards me. Yep. So there lead you with go. the crutch. Oh, good. Oh, watch out for the chair. Lead with the crutch. There you go. Good. Lead with the crutch. Good. Hey, guys. All right, so we're leaving. Leaders on crutches. And uh, we got to find mom. Mom's parked out here somewhere. Uh, let's just wait for her, like over here. Meanwhile, back home. All right, Leland, how are you doing? My right leg is still dead. No! Oh. no! Hold on, no! don't move. I'll grab no! your ice pack. Hold on, it's okay, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Oh. This is gonna be a long road of recovery. All right, don't put too much weight. Uh, he's just walking around. Alright, uh, we're back home and yeah, since so yeah, there's so much crap in your room, huh? Not as much as my own. Well, no. Blood is so messy. Alright, open the door. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Well, so since Leland's in the gaming room right now, I can clean up his area. This is where Leland's baby been. Uh, leftover food. Look at my baby dinosaur. Baby dinosaurs. Good leftover food. There's his uh, Tylenol, whatever, aspirin stuff there. Look at my you know, two baby dinosaurs. Painkillers. Got to clean all this up now. He has a shake, drinks. Look. Look at my two baby dinosaurs. All right, hey, guys, so... I'm actually kind of happy I tore my ACL because I just sit on my butt all day and play, like, Xbox, so, like, Dad, serve me! What They're basically my servants, so, like, I need you to serve me! Oh, yeah! Got some chips here, got some, what, yeah. cupcakes. Oh. Man, this is annoying. There's the stadium, there's the arena. The All-Star Game in Salt Lake City. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's the All-Star Game in Salt Lake City. Woo! Yeah, here we go. So, 
feel kind of bad for Leland because, you know, he's just, uh, his crutches, you know, torn an ACL. He's just uh, been around the house. And so we got Uncle Jay here to help take care of Leland as well. Because we all got we all got to take care of Leland now. We all got to like try to nurse him back to help, uh, help and all that. And so, you know, we, we got to serve him, you know, uh, serve him food and all that. So, yeah, that's why we got Uncle Jay here. But in the meantime, we're watching the All-Star game. That's here in Salt Lake City. Kids try to run away for that, but they went on the wrong day. So it's today. It's happening right now. So, yeah, we're watching it. And, uh, yeah. Go marketing! Lloyd marketing! Not Donovan Mitchell. We're over Donovan Mitchell. He doesn't play for us anymore, so who cares? All right, we're watching the All-Star game in Salt Lake City. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're watching Lloyd Marketing who represents the Utah Jazz. Is he back in? Uh yeah. Yeah, he's, he's back, back in. in. Alright. Uh, yeah. Right, he's scored good. seven points so far and then they had him sub. Oh he has the ball right now. There he is. There he Lowry is right there. Oh, oh he made all the others. Alright, so yeah. Jay is spending the Oh, just hold on! So Jay's spending the night. Leland wants a drink. Can you go grab him a drink? Fine. Just go to the, the there's some in the pantry. pantry? Okay. Yeah, God, this is so annoying. You can't do anything for himself oh, anymore. Him, um, just grab him one of those. Like a soda? Like yeah, a just grab him something. I don't, I, don't, I don't even care. Just, he's in the office. <sighs> so this is why I have, this is why I have Jay spending the night just to help us. All right, so Jay, where, where are you putting the mattress? Are you just sleeping right here by the front door, or are you moving it yeah, somewhere? Yeah, I have it right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bigger than I imagined. This will work. It's pretty big. All right, so uh, we just got done watching the All-Star game. We just got done watching the All-Star game, which was here in Salt Lake City. Uh, we couldn't really enjoy it that much because of Leland. Keep needing stuff every, like, two minutes. He's just in the gaming room. Oh. So, were you guys able to watch the All-Star game? Tell me down in the comments. All right, Leland, so you got to keep it down in the gaming room because... I can't even see you. There you go. Yeah. Okay, Uncle Jay is sleeping just right there. I'm trying to sleep. I know, just chill. So, he's oh. just right there. He's like 10 feet away from you. So Dad, don't... My, my friend's house keeps getting um, on fire. Okay. Well, just keep it down. That's not keeping it down. Oh, Jay, you're not going to get any sleep. So we got Jay right there. If you need anything, if you need any... Before the creepy animatronics downstairs. All right, so if you need... Okay, Leland, if you need anything, Uncle Jay will be sleeping outside the door here. Uh, if you need no. any food or drinks or anything, I don't know. <sighs> it's been a long day trying to, you know, cater to Leland and all that. And that's why I got Uncle Jay out there. What? What's up, man? What? I can't do this, man. Well, what's the matter? I'm trying to sleep. Well, so and are we. Your son, Leland, I'm going is to bed. playing Xbox. He Still? is screaming. I don't know if he's yelling yet. He's probably the TV or something. He keeps yelling. I cannot <sighs> sleep. I don't even know what time it is. I don't have a watch. What am I doing? I, I can't. Every two seconds, he's asking for water. I don't know how we drink so much water and not go to the bathroom. So. <sighs> I don't know. Can I sleep here with you guys? No, Sorry. that's weird. Yeah, that is kind of weird. That's weird. I'm desperate. I, I can't take this anymore. He's driving me crazy. Wow. How do you guys put up with this? We have a big closet. Maybe. Oh, you can sleep in the closet, maybe? No, there's, there's monsters in there. I'm not sleeping in the closet. What's that? Oh. What is going on? What's going I on? I cannot do this. Leland, you got What is going on? I'm trying to I sleep. I cannot. I cannot sleep. What time is it? I am so it? done. I'm so tired, but I can't sleep. He keeps asking for water. It is like midnight now. My shift is done. It's your turn. <sighs> Leland, why are you still on the Xbox? Okay, get off and go to bed. Come on. Uh, Uncle Jay's tired. No, he's done... Jay. Okay, he's done catering to you right now, okay? No. And I'm done too. I'm tired. We're both tired. Yeah, you can turn the whole way light off if you want. No, that's oh, it's dark. Now I can't see where I'm going. Ow! Dang, dang it. <sighs> Leland, go to bed. Go to bed. All right, everyone go to bed. I'm done. Good night. Well, Leland's finally asleep. 
<sighs> so it's the next morning. Leland's sleeping in because he was up all night keeping Uncle Jay awake, I guess. He was talking all night long. I heard him talking all night long. I like in the gaming room? He kept asking for water. He kept calling my name. Uncle Jay, give me <sighs> water. Oh. oh my gosh. I told him to go to bed. And, then he and now he's sleeping. I mean, now it's like... He's sleeping now. Now it's like 9 in the morning, whatever. And uh, he needs to get up. But now he's just sleeping in and all that. I mean, we watched the most boring game ever. An all-star game. And then we... Everyone just stood around. Like, no defense. I'm going to shoot mid-court. I'm going to shoot across the court. There's no defense whatsoever. Oh, it was awful. Oh. And then I couldn't sleep last night. So, yeah. I'm, uh, don't invite me to another all-star game. Yeah, Tatum and Donovan. We were both bull hogs. Everyone was. I'm gonna make sure he's alive. Is he alive? Leland? Are you alive? Okay, he's alive. I just have to make sure he's alive. Alright. Um, <laughs> you know, I just gotta make sure he's okay. The owner of that ACL and all that. Hey, London, what are you doing? Oh. Jay's here? Yeah. Uncle Jay's here? Yeah, stuff over here. Oh, there's his stuff? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, you're leaving already? Yeah, I'm leaving. You're I'm only here for it. one night. I can't take it. I couldn't sleep. I didn't sleep at all last night. Yeah. But I need your help to take care of Leland. He, he can't oh, do anything right cat. now. That cat's always outside. Yeah, he's always in and out. How does he get out? Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm going to drive home. Please, Please don't leave. Yeah. I need your help. No, I can't do it, man. <sighs> Seriously? Well, I can't call Haley. They, they live, she lives in Hawaii. Uh, She's not going to come back out here. Yeah, that's too bad. It's just too <sighs> All, right. All right. So, well, good luck. Uncle Jay is leaving, and, you know, and it's just, <sighs> got to do this on my own, I guess. So we're taking Leland to the surgeon tomorrow so he can get an MRI and all that and probably schedule his surgery because he hasn't had surgery yet. You know, we have, we've only seen the, the ER doctor or whatever there, just out here at the local hospital. But we got to take Leland into Salt Lake tomorrow to get the MRI, talk to the surgeon who specializes in ACL injuries and all that. And we'll go from there, I guess. All right, well. I, uh... No, I'm so tired. I am really tired, man. And I gotta drive home in an hour. It takes an hour to get home. Well, how, how can I convince you to stay? Huh? I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I, 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 I hope Leland gets better, to be honest with you, but, but my goodness, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. All right, Uncle Jay's leaving. He's annoyed. So, you know, he, he stayed the night. But Leland kept him up all night, you know, uh, kept bugging Jay for stuff. And uh, it was nice because I was able to get some sleep. But now Jay's leaving. He, he can't deal with it. And that, that's why I called Jay over here to help me out because Leland's kept me up for stuff. And this is just odd. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do now. So today we're going to be heading to Primary Children's Hospital. Follow up with Leland's injury. We have to go see a specialist regarding his ACL tear where he's going to get an MRI done just to see the extent of the damage. Leland, come on! We gotta go! So yeah, going to Primaries, which is way in Salt Lake City. So that's like an hour drive for us. But this guy's like a specialist. He deals with like ACL and other uh, knee related injuries. So, you know, that's something that we need to talk to him about just to see, like, if Leland really needs surgery, when he's going to have surgery, why, you know, just how bad that's going to be. You're forgetting your shoes. Yeah. Don't forget your shoes. You need shoes. All right, I got your shoe right here. Your other shoe. God, I threw the shoe and it, like, hits him in the leg because I was on the other side and I threw the shoe over the van. Leland was standing right there. It was off camera. And the shoe hit him. All right, you're in the van. All right, we're in the van. <laughs> it's hard to get Leland in the van. All right, you got your shoes. So, oh my God. All right, well, here we are again, approaching Salt Lake City. This is where the primary children's hospital is, and that's where Leland needs to go to talk to his surgeon and talk to his specialist about his ACL. 
So they just had the All-Star game here, so uh, it's probably still kind of crazy. Alright, so yeah, we just had the All-Star weekend here in Salt Lake City over the weekend. Oh, there's a billboard about it right there. So yeah, there you go. So uh, yeah, a huge turnout. It was the greatest show of defense ever shown for any basketball game ever. So that glass hotel building right there, that's where we had dinner with Nikki on her birthday that one time. Alright, we're approaching the University of Utah and here is uh, East High School, home of the High School Musical. This is where they filmed it, guys. High School Musical. Can I go see Zach Efron? Uh, I don't know. We're on time. Alright, so we're approaching the University of Utah and there's the football stadium. Yeah. Utah, man, yeah, am yeah. I? Wait. No, it's not BYU, it's Utah. Wrong score, Leland. Pac-12 champions, University of Utah. Hi, we are approaching by Mary Children's. They have a lot of hospitals up here. They seriously got like three or four different hospitals. The U, the giant U, up on the side of the mountain. All right, so that's the Cancer Institute Hospital. Sudi, that's not where we're going. We're going right here, actually. To Primary Children's Hospital. And we actually did a video on this After very long bridge. Do you guys remember this video? You have Comment reached below. Destination. It is on your right. I sure know. I give you a hint. It's like when Leland skipped school or something. Wow, look how high that sky bridge oh is. Oh my god. That's like four stories up. After 0.3 miles. Uh, then there's some eye center place. That's also not where we're going. The University of Utah Hospital. That's the main hospital. Oh, we're not going there either. Man, they've got sky bridges everywhere. This is where we're going right here. Primary Children's. The South Entrance. Wait, oh, You don't need a hat. You don't need a hat. You just need crutches. Why do I have to grab hats? Yeah. Okay, you guys go ahead. I'll catch up. All right, there's your hat. Go Jazz. And it's all. Oh God. Seriously, Leland, you almost tripped. Are you all right? Jesus Christ, this is going to be a long walk. Because we got to walk in this building here. I mean, oh, God. God dang it. Seriously. It's not that high of a step. All right. This is all uphill, guys. Oh, just like life itself, it's all uphill. Oh, and, man... This is, this turned out to be a very interesting video. Watch where he's walking, where, where are you walking to? In we go. All right, just don't trip. We're in the elevator. I hate elevators. Ha, you can't jump this time. You can't jump. You can't scare me. No, stop. Don't hurt yourself. Like, seriously. I hope you guys know where you're going. Orthopedics? Is that? Is that where we need to go? Yeah, I think this is it. Right, Leland's about to see the doctor, the knee doctor. His knee looks all bent. Yeah, it's all swollen too. It's all swollen, yeah. So you've been wearing that brace for a couple of days now. Been on crutches. This was the earliest we were able to be seen by the doctor. So yeah. we'll see what happens. So we're here waiting to see the doctor, see if Leland has to go in for surgery or not. Most likely will. Most likely will. This thing itches. I thought this was a free country. It's 2023, Carol. COVID was yesterday. So we're just waiting. <laughs> it itches and my glasses fog out. This is annoying. I can't talk. My ears look weird. Just put it under your nose. Under my nose. Hashtag free country. At least you don't have a blown out knee. <laughs> I don't know. So, anyway. At least you can walk. It's better than the two of us. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the only one who can walk now. Just me and the girls. That's it. Oh, dude, turn that down. That's too loud. You're at the hospital. Oh, yeah, the hospital. The sick people. There's sick kids here. Now turn it down. Oh, okay. 
So it's not really an ACO tear then? No, it's actually better than an ACL tear. Oh. So oh, nice. instead of the ACL ligament yeah. blowing up. So this is really interesting. I've never heard of this before. So here's a chunk of bone right there that needs to be down here. And so his he didn't tear an ACL. He like broke a chunk of bone that's attached to the end of the ACL and it just pulled it. So what they're gonna have to do is they're gonna have to reattach the bone down here because it's it's up there and it needs to be down here. So Leland still has to go in for surgery as early as tomorrow possibly for them to reattach this bone. So he did not tear an ACL, guys. He well, broke no, a, he said it was like. Well, you broke a, little, a chip of your bone. He he said it was a little bit torn. Ah, there's a storm coming. It's all wet and slippery now. Please don't slip on the wet concrete. Ooh. It's all sort too, so be careful. Well, this Salt Lake City. See where that crane is? That's where they're building the tallest building, right there. Oh my god! Oh my god, Carol's gonna want the light. She's gonna want. Oh my god, she really ran that light. Carol, what is the matter with you? Alright, well, she stopped at this light, but yeah, dang. It's slippery. Yeah. Well, on a hill. Steep hill. You see that red crane right there? That's where they're building the tallest building. Right there. Tallest building soon, one day. Wow. All the artwork there that on that building. Cool. That looks pretty cool. You, um, you want to put this, type, either type it in your phone or write it down. Okay. okay. Um, uh, so Leland can eat his normal diet until midnight tonight. Tomorrow morning, he can actually have a light breakfast. Um, so a light breakfast would be cereal with milk or toast with nothing on it until 11.45 tomorrow morning. After 11.45, those have to stop, but he can still drink apple juice, water, or Sprite until from 11.45 till 3.45, okay? After 3.45, nothing at all. Okay. And then your check-in time is 4.15 tomorrow afternoon. And then you'll check in at our inpatient admitting area. That's on the first floor. It's kind of um, like the north entrance is kind of the main entrance to the hospital. And you guys will end up coming up to same day surgery on the south end, second floor, once once they get you registered. Oh, okay. And so, what time is he scheduled for surgery? Um, surgery estimated surgery time is five forty-five. All right. So we're back home. As we pulled up to our driveway, um, the hospital called us to inform us of the time we need to check in tomorrow for Leesland surgery and what time and what we need to do to prep for all that and, and whatnot. <sighs> this storm cannot come at a worse freaking time. Are you kidding me? Like, I gotta take Leland back to Salt Lake tomorrow for a surgery and the worlds are gonna be absolute crap. Like, are you serious? Mother Nature? <sighs> like, come on, really? Of all days. Are you freaking kidding me? Holy cow. Marvel wants to go outside for some reason. But look at this. Look how much snow we got. And we got to go for surgery today? Like, how? How are we going to get out of the house? Okay, this storm could not have come at a worse time, guys. Like, we got like... That looks like over a foot of snow. I, I don't even know. But, like, look at this. The snow is, like, literally up to our window. Like, it's up to our window. Like, that's how deep it is. Like, look how deep that is. How are we going to get out of the house? How am I going to take Leland to the hospital? All right. Um, how bad is it here? Oh my God, holy cow. Yeah, there's literally a pile of snow in front of our driveway because it all blew off the roof overnight. And <laughs> like we can't get out of the driveway for all this. We're gonna have to plow all this somehow. And like, you know, we gotta, we gotta drive to Salt Lake. Like, look at that deer. That deer is almost completely buried in the snow. Like out there behind the house, we you know we got some deer stature. Like how deep that is. 
All right, so yeah, like I said, this storm could not have come at a worse freaking time. Girls have dance recital today, or dance competition today. Leland has a surgery today. It all just happened to fall on the same day. Plus, we got like the biggest freaking snowstorm in the last 20 years that dumped on us last night. Have you taken the trash out yet? I can't do that right now. You need to take the trash out. It's trash day. Okay, well, first of all, I gotta somehow plow this freaking driveway. I don't even have a snow plow. I don't have a snow blower. All I have is just, you know, your hands. just my hands and my snow shovel. And there's like a, at least a foot of snow out there. It looked really deep, guys. It's going to take me hours to do this. So I'm out of breath, guys. I'm trying to find where our sidewalk is and how deep that is. That's, I don't know. That's about two feet of snow, guys, in this area, all just blue up against the house. <sighs> so, I mean, look at that, look how deep that is. Snow like comes up to my knee. <sighs> I'm all out of breath, but I just got done plowing a path to our front door. <sighs> it's really deep in some areas. That's ridiculous. Like my wishing wheel was almost completely buried. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see it. So we got someone there with a freaking bobcat plowing our driveway right now. So, you know, we had to hire someone to come because there's just so much snow. He can't even get up there. He has no traction. Like even a freaking bobcat's struggling. But yeah, that's that's what... That's what it's come down to, guys. Yeah, so we got this guy in the bobcat plowing our driveway right now. Look at all that. Look at all that. That's that's at least a foot of snow. And I really hope to God they don't take out my trees or my lights that I have up and down my driveway. A trailer valley, five to ten inches. That's more snow possible. That's on top of the eighteen inches we've already gotten. Are you staying home today? I wish. <laughs> All right, so, so the guys came, plowed our driveway, and look at like the size of the this hills here of snow. They had to push all this back. This is how much snow we got. Like, look at these piles of snow. And it's already sticking again. Like, look at the front of my house. Like, that's a couple of feet of snow there. And uh, this is a complete SHIT show right now, guys. Snow is already building up again. Like, I'm going to have to come and plow this again. <sighs> Look at this. We got surgery. We got to leave in a couple of hours for that. And <sighs> Storm of the decade, apparently. Got over 18 inches here. Nearly two feet. Never had, never seen anything like this. Driveways plowed, but the streets are not. So since we're unincorporated out here, that that falls on the county to get their plow trucks out here. And I don't know how long it's gonna take for them to do this. So if they don't come out here, I don't know how we're gonna be able to get Leland, uh, get Leland to the hospital for his surgery today.